this is going to be a dish of lamb and we've got some nice Northern Irish lamb, a leg steak and we're going to cook it on the pan and then we're going to finish it with a dull stout from the North Coast and honey glaze and then serve that with some turnips or neeps. First thing, a nice hot pan and a wee bit of oil in the pan. And this, this is leg steak so uh, just on the bone and then what we'll do is let it cook it, let it rest bring up to heat again with the glaze and then we're going to just slice it up off the bone but the, when you have a bone in meat it always gives it a good bit of flavour as well so in the pan nice and hot and then just our, our leg steak there bit of salt and then we'll just let that really just uh, just want to seal that off so maybe uh, just a tiny bit of butter then just and I'm gonna there's a wee bit of fat around it, so what I'll do is maybe just lift the lift the meat up in a in a minute or two and just let it um, render down that fat a wee bit. But the thing about it is when you're cooking something like this uh, with with meat, is they've got natural sugars in it, so you want to get a really really hot pan and then just leave it. If you start moving it around, it won't it won't cook. Sometimes the natural inclination is to is to hook around in the pan, but don't hook leave it and uh, we'll have a wee quick look at it there and it's, it's coming up lovely and golden there. I'm going to cook that on both sides and I want it to be to be quite pink um, so what we'll do is we'll cook it to about um, medium rare then I'm going to put it in front of the hearth when there is a nice bit of heat there and it will rest beautifully and then uh, we'll finish it off with this uh, with the glaze so this is a, a dulse, the dulse is the, is the seaweed that's uh, prolific around Ireland really um, but eaten traditionally in a Bally Castle and you have the hope the song about, about the Isle Amis Fair and Dulce and Yellow Man. So this is the Dulce and then a brewery in Portrush called La Cata. Uh, it's a cooperative brewery so it's owned by loads and loads of people have made this shore Dulce Stout. So it's infused with the stout. You don't, you don't really taste it but it gives it a lovely saltiness. Um, and lamb and seaweed and anchovies and things like that go really well together. So the French would season lamb with anchovies. So I would sometimes use dulse to season, to season lamb. It's really beautiful. So we'll finish it off with a glaze. So we've got some honey and some stout. And what I did earlier was I just boiled the two together. It actually has the consistency of treacle. And we'll finish the lamb with that. So I can sort of smell now that the lamb has sealed off beautifully. So we'll just uh, give that a wee turn over. And actually the, the skin, the skin has crisped up quite well. So we'll just press that down to get that other side. And the thing there, when you're getting that lovely golden, the lovely golden fat and the that nice sort of really lovely crispy and, the, and you get a great aroma from it and that's just by not moving it. And again, lamb is one of those things, you can't mess around with lamb. Uh, lamb from Northern Ireland, you'll see it out and about. You won't see chickens, but you'll see the lamb. And it's a, it's a natural meat, it's the most natural meat. And because it's natural, this is even that fat and that's quite lean because especially at this time of year, they're in the winter, they're running around and they're you know, they're, they're burning up the fat, so you get this nice sort of thin that you wouldn't maybe get with sometimes with others, like pork where it's been inside, so this is always natural. Put another wee bit of salt just on the other side there, just to finish that off. I think the thing when you're cooking any kind of meat too is, is that you can get a, an electronic probe, but you know, there were no electronic probes in when they, where people were cooking here. So what, you use a wee bit of gumption, so I'm going to touch that now, and it's got a bit of give, so I'm going to take that off now, and put it on, so it's just, just a nice, it's bouncy, so I know that in that there, it's kind of medium rare, and I'm going to let it sit a wee minute, and it'll hopefully go nice and medium, just want it really gently pink, and if you let it rest, then it, everything settles in it, if I were to cut through that straight away, it would be bloody, and you don't want that, so this is just really nice and, nice and rested. And just let that rest there. And while we're waiting for that to rest, we're going to do some turnip. Uh, I've already actually cooked the turnips, so just uh, they're ready, they're fully cooked, so just cut them up and into boiling salted water. But I'm going to finish them off in the pan, so a nice bit of oil again. Get that really, really hot. Uh, I'm going to do some scallion and uh, turnips, of course, part of our tradition here in Northern Ireland. Big 
this one maybe not as popular as it should be but I just adore them I think they're the king of vegetables so in that so nice hot pan and then just don't overcrowd the pan either so I want to get a nice bit of colour in these as well I've already seasoned them so uh, I'll, not, I'll not put any more salt into them just take a nice wee dot of butter around it because you just want these to be lovely and golden as well I mean, turnips are nice on their own they're nice mashed if you fry them up with butter after you've cooked them they're, they're absolutely delicious and they're also beautiful with um, <clears throat> with bacon as well so a nice wee bit of bacon in with your turnip um, I'm going to put in the scallion here now and uh, but obviously it's going to be really nice with lamb too so if you think of a you do haggis which has all the, the off cuts and, and offal of lamb and traditionally it was served with neeps so we're going to do it with neeps and dulce and so it's a northern irish ulster version of it there we go and just uh just get these uh, until they're you know nice toss around so they're nice and golden and so crisp the outside of them a wee bit And that's just that wee tiny bit of scallion there just adds just a nice savoury because turnips are quite sweet actually so if you put a wee bit of you know if you put the bit of um, scallion in it just just brings it out and just let those cook on that side for a wee minute and then we'll flip them over and our, our lamb um, actually looks very relaxed so it's, it's, it's sitting in front of the fire so I think we'll we'll lull it we'll lull it back and it full sense of security in a wee second or two so get a um, nice hot pan here in this one so those are those are doing lovely I'm going to add another wee tiny bit of butter not, not a massive amount just another wee bit in the middle there just to liven that all up I'm not going to put any pepper in in this because I don't want to take away from the dulse so sometimes you know You've got dulse and you've, we've got the and the and the eel and we've got the honey and the eel's quite spicy. So if we put pepper in, it might be just to do, do a bit spicy and overpower the turnips a bit. So we just uh, let it all just come together like that. So you get look, you get that lovely golden, golden and crispy on those turnips now, and our scallions are wilting in beautifully. I'm just going to put these back onto the. Again, I'm going to just stick them on the griddle for a wee minute while I'm finishing off the lamb. So, there we are. And this is our, our lamb now. A wee bit of the juice came out of the side there, if you can see that. We're going to make a virtue of that. What's that? So I'm going to just uh, let that reduce down a bit. And I'm going to touch the lamb now. You can even, it even feels relaxed because it's sort of, you know, before it was bouncing up a bit, but now it's, uh, it's nice and relaxed so smells great so what we're going to do is just bring that up to bring that up to the heat again and then we're going to finish it off with our glaze so and then you, the glaze is going to meld in with the, the juices that are already there and then we're going to get a nice uh, a nice sauce with this as well just get that. so we're just going to take a wee bit of the, the glaze now and just add that Just put another wee bit in there. So that's roughly about that's about roughly about 200 mils or of the ale boiled up with a good I put in a good couple of tablespoonfuls of the honey into that. So and this is a it's actually a stout, so it's not an ale. So you could uh, but you could use an ale for this. Um, and if you don't fancy the idea of seaweed or you can't get the seaweed stout, just any good. Um, pale ale would be lovely with this but the whole idea is that the, the ale's sharp and the honey's sweet so it brings the whole thing together and a great smell now of sort of like beautiful stout and lovely berry smells and that nice honey coming through and then just to finish that off, just to give it a nice wee bit of a zing, I'm going to add just a, a bit of parsley just into the sauce. Just Everything's very dark and sultry in that sauce, so I think a wee bit of green.
There they are. You sort of see that now, it's like really come up beautifully. So I'm going to say that's ready now. So we're going to just throw in our parsley into the sauce. Give it a wee second. So we've got our turnips. Our turnips are um, cooked nicely now, so we're going to just put these on the on the plate. And I'm just going to put them into the middle, actually. So sort of lovely, nice pile of the neeps. With our lamb here now, I just want to take this out. And we're just going to cut it off the bone here, so just onto the onto the board. Just, just warm that up a wee tiny bit, and just to loosen that a bit, I'm just going to add a small small amount of the stout and another wee bit of butter, just to just to bring it together. And actually the combination of that, just that fresh stout hitting the, the reduced one, beautiful. Okay, and then just going to slice the, the lamb then, just, just slice it off the bone. It's nice and pink there as well, that's what you want. Yes, there's a, there's what I always call the, the cook's pickings there, so that's for get all the fancy stuff on, then you go and have a wee gnash at that on the corner if nobody's looking. Okay, so we're off the bone there a wee bit. And then we're just want to just line this up. So you see it's nice and pink there, but rest it beautifully. Just take that down there. And the thing about it is, if um, people say, "Oh, I don't really like, um, I don't really like pink meat," I think the whole thing is you've got to let it rest. And if you let it rest, it'll not. The, what puts people off is that people sometimes you go to a restaurant and they cut the steak open straight away, or they cut the meat open, and it's blood on your plate. You don't want that. If that's that's just about not resting it. So, and then just take our lovely juices here, and just pour them all over. So that's our, 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 our lamb steak that's been cooked. Start it off in a really, really hot oil and then incorporate a nice bit of butter. So you get that lovely brown butter. And then um, we've, we've got the, we put the honey glaze in uh, with the dulce stout from Portrush. And the dulce is from Ballycastle, so very North Coast dish. And then our lovely turnips, which are actually from uh, McGilligan. So it's very north coast this one, so it's, it's nearly the lamb and sea. So beautiful, um, so that's our that's our lamb with the neeps, um, the dull stout, some honey and a wee bit of parsley at the end. <laughs>